Hello, curious gang! It's your London friend, Vasi, that, of course, lives in London, together with her boyfriend, Ben, and together we love traveling and giving you useful tips. get a booking kit there basically I booked this place place almost two months in advance and I was so excited that I'm running actually a little bit late we have only nine minutes to go the distance of 30 minutes This is the ultimate pizza challenge. So if the crust is so soft and doughy that it can do that, it means that the pizza, it is actually typical Neapolitan style. And this is how the restaurant looks like inside. I have to say it's extremely cute, but it's definitely one of these places where you go more for the ambience and not so much for the food. Don't get me wrong, the food was still amazing, but it was not the star of the show. Would they suggest you Gloria Trattoria? Yes, definitely. Would you go there every day? Well, most probably you wouldn't unless you book it one month in advance for every single day, which I guess, I mean, who would do that? Guys, maybe you know this already, maybe you don't, but I'm actually from Bulgaria, which was never really part of the Soviet Union, it was like a satellite, but at the same time, we always had very close relations with Russia and uh, we were very influenced by it, especially in the past. So at the moment, seeing what is happening in Ukraine kind of makes me feel involved into this and also makes it feel really real and close to me at the same time and this is why it was quite important for me to go to the protest and show my support to ukraine and here we are with the first person that we're going to interview ben hi everybody here's again so what do you expect from the protest uh nothing much it's just like they're trying to raise awareness about what's happening in ukraine do you think there are gonna be a lot of people uh, relatively, yeah. I mean, London is a fairly big city, so I think a lot of people are going to be there. I mean, 200, 
See, two, three hundred. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. <laughs> yes, I really think they're gonna be ten thousand people, wow. but I think that's uh, <laughs> very optimistic. So let's see. Here we are. It's uh, in front of the apartment that uh, we'll be going to buy with Ben. Are we? <laughs> what was the asking price? Starting price. One point seven for a one bedroom. Ah. Ah. Okay. Never ah. mind. Ah. Ah. into St. James and we can already hear some things from the protest like that it's quite loud and it pretty much sounds like there are a lot of people maybe not 10,000 people but more I than think 300. <laughs> but more than 300 with Ben we are a little bit into the extremes but we shall see maybe the truth is somewhere in between in the middle lies in the middle <laughs> maybe the truth lies somewhere in the middle I'm very bad with expressions I'm sorry A little update, we are late <laughs> because it was supposed to start at 2 p.m. at Trafalgar Square and uh, they just informed us that uh, it has actually finished over they, there. They, uh, a random person in the street, they. <laughs> I mean, it was actually a group of people. So now we will try to go to the second protest in Parliament Square and uh, I kind of hope that we have better luck over there. I have to say in the protest they were definitely not only Ukrainians they were for sure people from uh, other Eastern European countries like me or there were also quite a lot of British people as well of course and I have to say it was quite moving to see people that were in there crying and definitely feeling down but they still had the strength to go to the protest and uh, show their support to others So my plan was to interview people at the protest but I have to tell you I was quite shy and intimidated to do it so instead I'm going to tell you the experience of uh, my friends from Ukraine so I have three friends from Ukraine that at the moment live either in Italy or in Greece and their families could have easily gone to, uh, to and stay with them but the fact is that they have all decided not to do it they have literally decided to stay and fighting for their country or helping local communities by distributing food and medicine around the area. Something quite shocking to me is that they're not even able to speak with their families all day because they spend most of the time into bomb shelters and uh, in some cases they cannot even leave the city because it is completely occupied by Russians. So what I've learned from the Ukrainian people in this past two weeks is that Ukrainian people are the best people in the world. Hello, Ukraine! Hello, Ukraine! I hope you enjoyed this very various vlog from London and if you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. Love you all! Bye!